I uh, just realised, uh, standing down there, that I probably bumped the average age of the five people down there up by a not inconsiderable margin. Uh, it was Leonard uh, Ravenhill who once said, the world is not a playground, it is a battlefield. It's a battle for truth. And for me, I distill it down to two basic uh, constructs. In essence, uh, unborn children and their mothers uh, matter. Uh, the elderly and the infirm uh, matter. Women who are commoditized in the prostitution industry uh, matter. And men and women who suffer sexual uh, dysfunction uh, matter. We're all created with an imbued sense of dignity that we do not lose. And that was reaffirmed at the cross of Calvary when the Lord Jesus Christ not only died for the sins of these people but for all of our sins. But secondly, that God's truth uh, to these people and indeed to all of us uh, matters because ultimately the scriptures tell us that uh, God uh, and his word and people are eternal. Uh, everything else uh, on this mortal coil is going to burn. Uh, so why do my wife and I uh, do uh, what we do? Uh, I was reading recently and I came across this uh, quote from Alexander Solzhenitsyn uh, when he said that uh, when one man ceases to lie, tyranny is torn down. And I thought that's a great statement of what we're sort of on about uh, because we know that when truth exits the stage, left of stage, tyranny takes over. But likewise, the flip side of that statement is when truth appears, when light shines in the darkness, uh, tyranny is dealt with. And so the Lord Jesus Christ rightly said, the truth will set you free. And so we are set for the defense of the faith once delivered to the people of God. Jesus Christ is the truth. Uh, we know him as the truth personally, and we are possessed of that truth. And so the reality is that this truth uh, for my wife and I is worth living for. This truth is worth dying for. And until we draw our last breath, this truth is worth fighting for. All praise to his name.